police set up an agency to monitor online activities 18 months ago and now its workload has increased so that 50% of it is related to child abuse. Matt Taylor is a forensic analyst and he's been helping parents stay informed about keeping kids safe online in stranger danger for the last two years. So the first is to have some control around the internet, um, to be familiar with what's out there and to have an ongoing open relationship with your child, uh, setting some boundaries with the internet and making it open enough so that their child feels comfortable to disclose if something goes wrong. He encourages parents to make themselves familiar with the internet and technology as it changes quickly and often parents aren't aware what's going on out there. He wants to see them take control and responsibility around the internet in their own homes. He says it's easy for a child to get out of their depth very quickly and he wants parents to be part of their child's online life. It can be difficult to filter what children have access to, but it can be as easy as turning off the internet connection at the wall. And they don't mean to be getting bullying text messages 24-7, so a lot of families I talked to about this will have the, the charges in the kitchen and when the child goes to bed or the teenager goes to bed, the cell phone's in the kitchen charging overnight rather than disturbing the child. Dunedin's secondary schools have also seen an issue around cyber safety and says it's not just school-wide but community-wide. Schools can keep on top of technology while the young people are at school. But often when the young people are not at school, then interactions occur, most of them positive, but one or two are not so positive. And those things then sometimes flow into schools, across schools, and then schools have difficulty keeping on top of that. Wilson says it's important parents pick up on the issues around technology. They may not know, for example, how many cell phones their, their child has. And then, you know, we had an anecdotal uh, information given to us that, you know, we have six-year-olds now in the city going to bed with a cell phone beside them, and, yeah, that doesn't lead to safe practices. The police and schools want to keep the focus on keeping our kids safe online and hope parents can build on the relationships they have with their children and keep the communication open. Dee Karen, 39 Dunedin News.